Hi gamers, I'm Cyber Settler and today we're playing Space Heaven. So this game is, um, um, I will describe it as um, a combination of Dwarf Fortress with uh, FTL. So it has uh, elements that are similar to both games, but it's not, uh, it has more than that, right? It, it's its own thing. Uh, and in fact, it has more things in common, I think, with, with uh, Dwarf Fortress and FTL. So the, the, the mechanic is a base building game, but instead of a, ba a static base, for example, as this one, um, it's, um, it's a moving base, it's your ship. Also, you can have more than one ship, so you can end up having a, a whole fleet. And you start with a certain amount of uh, crew members, and in the game, as you travel the universe, you will be um, increasing that uh, number of um, crew members, maybe. Um, it depends on your choices. Uh, but the idea is that you travel the universe and then um, you are improving your colony. So you have to uh, maintain your crew members happy and they will um, do... Um, things uh, by their own right uh, most of the time they are just um, um, performing tasks or uh, they are sleeping or they are in a break and they do this uh, by themselves but also you have the option to uh, control them directly so uh, in that in that um, in this uh, particular um, game mechanic, it differs from Dwarf Fortress, for example. And um, yeah, and, and it, in, regarding FTL, um, it's similar because you are jumping from one system to another. There are different factions. You can trade with those factions and um, you can also engage in piracy or you could be attacked by pirates. So yeah, it's, it's a really interesting um, game, uh, the, the combination. And in this particular scenario, we're starting off with, um, with a, an asteroid base, I would say. But the idea is to build this ship that is here, um, the Myra. Uh, currently, it, it's, there's nothing there. Uh, but um, yeah, I, I already started like uh, drawing something here, like a layout. I will explain to you later what, what I want to do here. Uh, at the moment, all the crew is in the base and there's already um, things that are um, built here. The idea is that I um, there are also asteroids where um, we can mine stuff. For example, this um, crystal here is for energy. Then we have um, water ice. And also we have this other um, crystal here that we can use for FTL travel. And there's a derelict um, at this um, location. Soon we will be going there and exploring the derelict. Uh, for now, we are going to um, we're going to make a, an initial design for the ship. And what I have in mind, um, I started with this game because I wanted to make a really custom design, and this is not possible when you are playing with. Um, <clears throat> um, with the other scenario there's a scenario where you are starting a very basic um, with a very basic ship and in this case I'm, I'm building the whole thing from virtually from scratch so the idea here is I want to make a, a ship that is um, somewhat similar to uh, one of the colonial ships from Battlestar Galactica. So I want to have like these uh, two nacelles. Uh, 
at the sides so they should be uh, let's see two three four uh, six seven um, wide uh, nine wide right so there's seven here that is because I want to place the FTL engines there and then we do it so so how long is this now one two three seven eight sixteen one two three two four well at the beginning it doesn't have to be um, that long I guess we can expand it right so yeah but i want to make like the basic structure is then a cells on the main body two four six eight twelve fourteen yeah more or less this is what i want <coughs> let's um do the other nacelle And again, it has to. Yeah, it will be 32 then, right? 32 by 9. There. Okay, so that's it. And now here we want. This would be here the main body of the ship. Oh wait, um, I exceeded the space here, yes, let's do it like this at, at the beginning, we will be um, <coughs> expanding the ship. Here I would make the bridge. So this is pretty much like um, Dwarf Fortress, right? When you're building like this underground base. And um, yeah, so it, it automatically places like these walls as you build. Okay, so here in the middle I want, let's say, I want to have the, um, how it's called, the, I want a hangar, uh, in the nacelles I will place the hangars, cargo and also the FTL um, engines and yeah some and some industrial things going on here so it's convenient to have them in the nacelles just in case because the, these are they um, can be hazardous um, operations let me see one moment this is uh, Two, four, this is five, okay, this is five if the, is the length, so they, five, and I think uh, these ones are, 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 um, three, three, right. Five, five, three, and this is I want to have like um, in each nacelles I will have a, a, a shuttle. So this is the shuttle right here. This this ship here is the shuttle, and these are mining pods. So I will like in each nacelle to have a, a shuttle and uh, two uh, mining pods. So, and I would do that in, in the center. Uh, 
and we'll do that in the center so this is like um, five here for example um, let's extend it uh, to the <coughs> let's extend it up uh, the problem is yeah let's let's say let's see how we deal with that because now this will be again this will be somehow symmetrical but it's five right so if we draw the line here so it would be uh, that would be like the the hangar right like the shuttle hangar then one space and then this will be the pod here and then we will we should have a space here where um, with a corridor yeah so it's basically this one right here so if we want to be 100 percent um, because this is what two here yeah this is two and this is three so this is that one and then space and then the pod sorry this the pod starts right here and this is three so it's here so let's place it place it here this is aligned with the pod and so we will have this there there we are a corridor and then this will be separated what one one two three four five and six the seventh right yeah the seventh and this is six and the seventh here so that's where it should go that's the other that's the other corridor right there oh but this is uh let's see one two three again six seven eight there's some missing here right one, two, one two four six and seven three more yes okay now there's some symmetry here so we can start like this right and then the 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 body of the ship can grow um, as we uh, have the other systems there so currently uh, I have to fix some things is this right no the perspective is tricky some sometimes because I don't know it's is this isometric thing but it sometimes is difficult to understand how um, it is now yes and then again we have like this um, you see that this part uh, looks like bigger than that one and I think it's a uh, it's an optical illusion because this has seven uh, wide <coughs> and this is yeah it's seven wide as well you see four and three seven so it's an optical illusion because i think our brain um tries to understand the perspective and it's uh, failing <laughs> basically it's a little bit crazy 
Okay, but once we put uh, things there, probably this um, optical illusion won't be as strong. So again, we have three and six, seven. And one, two, three, four. There, one, two, six, but I think still we are missing one, right? It's difficult. And I think uh, they should have like this. I don't know if there is like a, if there's no symmetry, right? Symmetry control here. Okay, but that's fine. So here we have five. One more, right? There we go. So that's it. Is it or not? I know this is only s what? It's only six. That's six and this. Seven. I think we're lacking one here. That's it. That's that's the ship. That's the initial ship. We can also we we can also should we grow it um yeah maybe I should grow it all the way back okay so I want to do this right um so basically I'm taking the full width so now if I once I because currently we are paused. When I re once I release the pause, it will start building the, the ship. The crew, I mean. The crew will automatically start building the ship. And one of the first things I want to do is to equip the, um, the crew with weapons. This is one of the first things. So how many weapons do we have? Four and one, you see, it's uh, and we are six crew members. Okay, so uh, I will show you the crew members quickly. So these are my crew members. It starts uh, very similar to um, to Dwarf Fortress. You you are starting with a crew, and this crew have. Um, They have abilities or their skills, I would say. They have all these skills, right? Like um, they have attributes, bravery, zest. Zest is, is like stamina, I think. And intelligence and perception. And then um, these passive ones, uh, accuracy, accident, working speed, recovery, learning, surrender, all these things, right? And then you have skills like mining, construct, industry, botany, uh, medical research and weapons and for the ship, ship systems, right? Like navigation, gunner, shielding, operations. Um, but in order uh, for me to have them um, pick up a weapon, I have to draft them. When you draft them, you um, basically control them. Now I'm in control of Adelia here and I can tell Adelia come and pick up something from here. Uh, at the end I'm not sure if I if this is where the weapon is. Ah it's not here. 
Is it here? No. Where are the weapons? Ah, strange. They aren't. But these are the cargo. Where are the weapons? Ah, maybe there's a. There are lockers as well. Maybe they are in some locker. Let's look for a locker. That's the kitchen. Yeah, no idea. Let's change the view. It has like this um, control. Strange. I cannot see it though. Ah, uh, oh no. Also here. Ah, here are the weapons. In this one. Okay. Ah, so I may uh, maybe I will be able to get rid of um of this uh, cargo stuff. So that's a Adelia weapons 1, weapons 1, weapons 3. Weapons 1, weapons 3. Okay, the ones with with weapon 3 uh, should come first. So let's draft them. Uh, Landon and there guy. I don't know where she's going currently. She's with a suit. Okay, whatever. You we have to draft her. So those are three. Who else has weapon? Well, you see, one is a welder. Adelia is a welder. Alexandra is. A mining technician. Uh, Derica is a telemarketer, but surprisingly enough, she's uh, proficient with weapons. Also with research. That's that's weird. And Kaylin is a farmer. Landon is a florist, and I at the beginning I thought, oh, I I don't know if he's going to be a good. Um, asset for the team but it turns out that he has botany so that's a good thing so yeah it makes sense a, a florist will have um, botany knowledge and the fighter pilot so let's draft them and take so yeah Basically, uh, they would be five, right? Let's draft her as well and take something. Let's see. Let's unpause it now and uh, have they come. So this guy is, who is him? Langdon is a florist. I will give him a gun. Yeah, take that. And then you are not drafted anymore. You can go. Now this... Um, who's this one? Niels. He's what the... He's the pilot, right? So I will give him a gun as well. And then... Uh, Derica, I think she's very proficient with guns, right? Uh, yeah, so I will give her the shotgun. Where is it? We'll give her the shotgun. Who else? Well, she um, she doesn't have to be drafted anymore. Also him, they don't have to be drafted anymore. Um, who 
who's also here Alexandria and Kaylin no who's this person here Derica ah this is Adelia Adelia needs to pick up her gun and now you can leave and now yeah there we go those are the people with weapons so who didn't get the, the weapon Kaylin, right yes all others have weapons Yeah, so even the florists have weapon, but the farmer doesn't. Yeah, you would complain, maybe you will complain that why don't give a farmer... Ah, this ended up in the middle of nowhere, so probably they will take it, hopefully. Someone was carrying it already. Okay, so that's it. Ah, and by the way, this little guy is coming now to start building the ship. Look, he's, he's uh, building the ship now. You see? They're building the design. Yeah, sure, that's next. The uh, the airlock. But let's let them uh, let let us um, let them finish what they're doing. Um, yeah, it's a lot. I have to see if I have enough resources. Forty, um, forty of this one. Um, th did it say how much I will require? One hundred two. So I don't have enough of these things. So probably I will have to engage in um, in the derelict. Probably this would be the next activity I should engage in. <clears throat> is this empty now it's empty i think we can just let's dismantle it oh wait oh i cannot dismantle things what really dismantle no why oh i think i cannot dismantle anything why is that really i can no i cannot dismantle anything oh that's a pity i was planning to reuse uh, stuff but it doesn't let me okay um we have the what is this a refinery metal refinery and it produces metal steel plates uh, okay it also can produce okay uh, electric components i don't know if I, we will need that we have the um, also the recycler and ref uh, the refinery Ah, here the whole block oh it can make uh, from steel it can make whole blocks okay but let's see if it's enough with um, I should draft some of them for an expedition oh they're all busy now 
this uh, blue circle here means that they are um, away. So they are, I think they are all building stuff. Yeah, of course, because it it will take such a long time. The problem, I will tell you, the problem, um, like sending an away team for the derelict, is that um, these the derelicts contain uh, probably um, enemies. They are they they have like these uh, bugs, alien bugs uh, inside, and yeah, you need to have a. Um, an armed crew uh, in the away uh, the away team should be an armed crew and yeah if you don't send enough uh, people they can sustain um, damage so let's see uh, now they are available So who do we have? Adelia, Alexandria, Alexandra, and uh, Derica. Let's draft them and uh, to the. Let's draft them. We're going in a way team now. First Adelia, you should suit up. Then uh, Derica. Uh, I should place her here, waiting. And uh, Alexandra, she also should wait here. They're all drafted. Let's also draft the shuttle. So, to be sure that it doesn't go anywhere so i like this mechanic of the game because usually in the dwarf fortress you don't get to um have these like um uh, these parties these like adventure parties there's a game mode where you can play dwarf fortress um, as an adventurer but I think um, if you are playing the, the the normal game with the colony, you cannot form like a. This would be really nice. I don't know. Maybe the the developers already implemented this, but from what I remember playing Dwarf Fortress, you couldn't do that. Um. So here you can draft um, characters. Uh, members of your crew and create an away team and control them directly and then it works more or less yeah it 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 it, it has like this tactical combat thing going on it's not exactly uh, it's not turn based so everything is happening in real time it's just that you can pause the the game also a feature uh, that is um related to Dwarf Fortress, right? In Dwarf Fortress, you can always um, pause the game and, uh, yeah, and give orders or whatever. Yeah, she's suit up, Adelia. Now I can tell her to enter the shuttle. And I can, who's here, Derica. I can tell Derica to suit up. She's suited, and now I can tell her to enter the shuttle. Let's see, Alexandra is coming. She should suit up. Oh, wait. Alexandra should suit. Yeah, there we go. She's um, with the suit now, and she can enter the shuttle. Now we select the shuttle, and we are going to the derelict so there is our ship it's coming
There we go. It's done. So now we can tell them to exit. And here you see it, right? Here are the box. Fortunate for us, they are, um, they cannot um, jump this distance. So I can take them from here. I would like so yeah there is destroyed now uh still one one is I think this is the last one I know there's another one Ooh, okay so I will tell them to come here they will fly and from there oh there are so many of them oh I will tell them to retreat Ooh, I got beaten. Okay, never mind. One is bleeding. Is she bleeding? Okay, but anyways, okay, they're gone right now. So let's select them again. Oh. This is why I think we can take them on. There we go. Oh, I think that's the whole derelict right there. That's the whole derelict. Okay, so we are done with it. Once you, um, once, oh. No, 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 no. Back, back. Let's see if we can if we can shoot from here. It's tricky. Ah, yes. And I am um, low on oxygen. There we go. Okay, once you explore the whole derelict, then you can... You can salvage it. And we can take oxygen here. There. Let's enter the ship. Yeah, so I, um, before um, doing this, before salvaging and everything, I will... Oh, what happened here? Yes, I will... Um, I think I should build the, the, the airlock first. I should build the airlock first. Am I right? Yes. Yeah, so let's uh, come here. I will undraft them. Once I undraft them, I think they will take care of, of their wounds. So let's see, um, I think I will soon be able to, to build something here.
There we go. Ah, so they are already undrafted. Okay, that's fine. Let's undraft this as well. So you will see, probably she will go to the medical room. Yeah. And she would get some treatment. There. She's healed. That's great. Okay, so let's see what's what's the status here. What are they building? Okay, this is the 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 part you're building. That's great, because I will have the first um, airlock placed here. Oh, this seems... wait a second. This seems to not be right. So this is... one, two, three... Seven, one, two, three... No, this is not right. Okay, I should... Move this. Oh, wa I was lucky that I could um, stop it. Yeah, now, okay, and then this one. Also, this is the case. There we go. What else? And probably I need something else. Oh, that's great. Also, we don't need this here. Yeah, that is... Okay, there. Okay, I think for now it's fine. Six, seven. Okay, that's that's fine. And now we can build um, the. We can give the order to make the airlock. Mm, airlock. Oh, nice. Okay. And the airlock, I would like to place it in front. Just in front of here. So they will... Um, I guess this is a good place, right? So it's aligned with this corridor, right? So they they will just come out of the shuttle and um, come uh, through the um, airlock and just enter and have access to the to the corridor directly. Okay, that's great. Let's um, let them continue. I wonder how are they going to build this, right? Because at some point they have to have access to the ship. Maybe I shouldn't close the the ship entirely. 
Uh, I'm not sure. Ah, well, I cannot do anything, right? I don't have control over this. Now it's... Uh, now I, I don't know. This is the first time I play like this. From the beginning, the, 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 the ship had um, an airlock. So now is the first time they don't have um, access to the ship um, through an airlock. So I guess that you would have to, if I do it manually, I, I will have to draft a, some crew. What is that? Oh, what is that? It blocked this this zone here. Ah, oh, that's strange. And what is that? A platform. Okay. Ah, and here comes the shuttle. Okay, this is interesting. This is the first time I see this. Here comes the shuttle. Ah, it's going to use the platform. Nice. Uh-huh. Okay, it it left some materials there. I'm not sure exactly where's the platform. <laughs> this is the, like the perspective of this game is uh, sometimes difficult to 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 understand but then i guess this is the materials for that um for the airlock so there must be some crew member that is going to come and fly his way um inside the the structure you we can just um see at the look at the different views this is how it's, it looks like right now interesting uh, they're in the break already they're in the break so if we look at the schedule yeah they're in their break they will go to sleep. And what? what is Derica doing? Ah, she's still in the in the medical room. Nice. Okay. And she was the status crawler bite. An open wound, open wound healed. Wow, she took a lot of damage. Okay, and the others. They have crawler bite. So this, this um, now this is um, these are the numbers used to calculate the the mood. So it has a base of sixty, and it has some um, bonuses and some penalties. Um, yeah. So again, this is very much like um, dwarf fortress in this sense. Major comfort. Feeling energetic. Ate a great meal. In a good mood. Then chronic wounds. Some of my wounds have become chronic. They are not healing on their own. I need a medical bed to fully recover. And the crawler bite. I got bit by an alien. Ouch. Okay. So... They're going to sleep here. That's nice. So I really want to see what happens with uh, with this platform mechanic stuff. 
because after that then I can um, once the platform is there and I have at least one um, cargo let me see what else I want to put here in the airlock I want to have the hangar I want a hangar uh, thing here I have to leave extra space okay and then a hangar pod Yeah, let's see. Okay, let's see. Let's see, let's see. Once they wake up, I will see. Because the thing now is that... Yeah, there are two more... I want to put that in the middle. Oh, there will be some... I hope there's no accident happening. So how much? One, two, three, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Eight. Okay. So that's one, two, three, six, seven, eight. That's the middle of it. Am I right? Yes. That's the middle of it. And then I will have to add. There's one, two, three, four, five, seven in total. Okay. So probably three more here. It will be more like this. Yeah. And then I can place the, the other things. Well, we have a lot of space and that's good. A lot of space. Maybe I can even place like this um, storage facilities. They're pretty big. I think I can place two of them side by side. Let's see. We can change it afterwards. So what's what is, is their condition now? Crawler by they're healed. No, well, Derica still has the, the open wound. It was bleeding. So you, you can see that the, the fight with the box is dangerous. So now they are gathering for the, for the breakfast. The morning coffee and breakfast. This guy is talking about some security thing. The other laughed and the other one is saying, what the hell? I don't know what he's about. Ah, they are in the jukebox. 
they are being entertained by the jukebox ah they are waving at each other i think okay and this got angry i don't know for what reason why is he angry though okay Okay, now back to work. So you can change their schedule here, right? I think they they work in general. They they start working like a lot. They work like more than eight hours a day, I think. So later on on the game, I would place. Uh, I will change that. I will I shift um, I reduce their working time and have m um, like uh, I will give them more free time because as in Dwarf Fortress they can have mental breakdowns still don't I haven't experienced uh, these breakdowns but um, I've yeah there has been warnings about it. So if you if you don't want them to have mental breakdowns you have to keep them happy you have to be looking at what they want what they are complaining about and um yeah and I guess uh, having free time helps as well So and I wonder who is going to come and uh, there comes the shuttle yeah someone is going in the shuttle Ardelia and I want to see if she's going to build the airlock it looks like that Okay, she's going to have to go a long way to do this. Ah, look. Ah, she went through there. Through the wall. Okay. Yep, she goes through the wall. And this wall is probably it's uh, in place of the where the airlock is going to be, like the the port. I mean, the docking port. Okay, but once we have this, we are going to be able to do everything else. There we go. Nice. And once I have the this airlock in place, I can I can put um, a storage. Okay. You are well on your way to building a new spaceship for your crew. To have your crew pri prioritize building, building the new ship, be sure to say set some of your crew members to prioritize working on the new ship. Okay. So, yeah. Ah, like this. Okay. That's nice. Yeah, as well, this is also reminiscent of... Uh, of dwarf fortress right yeah but i i expect yeah there are other games of course but dwarf fortress is like the the father of them all oh okay
We need electricity here. Ah, uh, yes, that's an issue. No tools facility, okay. Oh, I think she can... Is it that she cannot go outside through there? What is she doing? I'm not sure what she's doing. Ah, okay, she's ah because she's she's prioritized. Ah, now I understand. Yes. So what I have to do now is I need to give more orders here. Hmm. Let's make um yeah, the next thing is like this cargo stuff. So what's the plan? The plan is a shuttle hangar. Here in the middle. That's it, right? Let's make sure that it's uh, one, two, three. Mm, yeah. Yeah, I cannot do much else because it's five. So it's not really that symmetrical. It's just that now I would put here like the cargo thing is. Okay, so I think this is the best way to take advantage of this. Uh, let's put one. That's two, okay. And what was the other thing I wanted to do? The, 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 sh the, um, Pod, huh? right? The pod, the pod. I want to make the pod like this. Oh, that's that's fine. Yeah, that's the exact um, layout I wanted. This is the layout I want. And then let's place the sto the storage. The storage would be here. We can place one here, right? And the other one like this. I will place two of them. Okay, but at the moment just one. Okay, that's it. And I need energy, but left let's leave them doing their thing. Oh, what happened? There. Because Adelia now is um, prioritizing uh, the ship. So she's somehow stranded there for now. I don't know if I should prior prioritize her for that. Also, she cannot get out of here. Hmm. 
Is she trapped now? Is she able to go there? Uh, she's able to go there, but... Ah, uh, she's not able to jump. Oops, okay. You know what? I won't prioritize her here. Because... Yeah, if I do this, then... She will just... Is she trapped here? That's the question. Okay, there. Oh, I thought she was um, trapped. Yeah, but no, she's not trapped. Okay, that's fine. They brought more materials to the to the to the ship, so that's not a problem. But I would like uh, to see more of the um, of the ship done. So the idea is the following. Oops. So the idea is to um, the idea is uh, to put the um, we, we need a, a, an er energy source like an energy generator. This one, this guy here. But I want to put it. Um, in the body in the main body probably to the back side i want to put it here so that's what i'm waiting for but you know what we could do instead we could salvage so the first thing so now i go to this uh, system view i can select the derelict and now i can uh, click on transfer and then it lets me um, transfer things so there's food Artificial meat, some medical supplies. Oh, wait. Wait, 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 wait. Let's pause it. Ah, here, here. To the Myra. Uh, I want to... To... Um, Ship it to the Myra. Ah, it gave the order already. But I was on the Myra, right? It was for the Myra all the time. Yes. No? Transfer target, Myra. Yes. Let's transfer this to the Myra. Mm. And this one here. Ah, there. Yes, no, I want to transfer this to the Myra. Ah, nice. It, it lets me, uh, like, um, switch targets. Okay, and the crawler corps, I will transfer them to the base because there I can process it. Otherwise, I cannot. So that's it. And then uh, you can salvage. So there is, there are some things here. It says uh, that I can salvage infra scrap and tech crap and hull crap. So probably I want to do the in infra scrap and the tech scrap first. Yeah, there we go. 
and then um, I will s uh, take the the whole scrap, basically. Okay. Also, we have research. So this is the research tree. And then you select what you want to research, but you need like a research station for that. So botany is good to have. Uh, the jukebox for entertainment and s the medical bed, of course, is very important, but it's so expensive. These um, research points are, um, from my experience, they are hard to, to, to get. Ah, there are also alien technology, okay. Crew equipment, yeah, some things here. Okay, so yeah, guys, I will leave it here. So now you, you have um, a notion what this game is about. Um, yeah, I didn't get to show you um, the ship uh, flying, but um, I think this, uh, this video is already long. Um, but I could uh, make another one to show you um, like the fly, like this travel mechanic and stuff. Well, I hope you liked the video and hope to see you in the next one. This is Cyber Settler signing off.